Please stand as we sing the offertory, page 192. <clears throat> Stand for the prayer of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who hear the word, that the Lord who moved Jesus' disciples to sing his praises as he entered Jerusalem would likewise open our mouths to declare his mighty works, even in the face of opposition and persecution. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For the tempted, that the Lord would preserve us from dissipation, drunkenness, and every sin that would harm our faith and cause us to fear his coming in glory, and that he would strengthen our faith as we joyfully await his return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For this congregation, that the Lord would make us increase and abound in love for one another and for all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who govern, that the Lord who rules with righteousness and justice, steadfast love and faithfulness, would grant the authorities of our land to act justly, so that his people might live in peace as they make known his love and faithfulness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in need of mercy, that God who establishes our hearts blameless and holy before him, Self, would have mercy on all the afflicted. We pray this day for Leslie and Russell, for Mary, for the lonely, for Reverend Johnson and his family members, for John and Jean and others we name in our hearts, and that he would comfort all who mourn, including the families of Debbie and Kevin. Until the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints in glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for those who receive the Lord's Supper, that Christ who rode into Jerusalem to save us from sin would prepare our hearts to welcome him worthily in his blessed sacrament. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God our Father, you have loved and chosen us according to your mercy and called us through the living voice of your word. Grant to us the spirit of your grace that what you have begun in us may be brought to completion when Christ appears in his glory on the last day. For you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with the service of the sacrament. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We give them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right 
is truly meet, right, and salutary, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, whose way John the Baptist prepared, proclaiming him the promised Messiah, the very Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, and calling sinners to repentance, that they might escape from the wrath to be revealed when he comes again in glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. same way also after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink of it all of you this cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me the peace of the lord be with you always Amen. 